the last video we got a bitch run didn't drive it um it was shutting off apparently five gallons isn't enough from a dry tank with nothing in the line so nothing in the pump to run because it just cycled it all to the other side on the return and then with the car being jacked up so high it bleed the coolant system out it all sat in the back of the tank and the pump didn't pick anything up so put another five gallons in 10 gallons in a 16 gallon tank it's reading half i don't know but it starts now every time we're good uh, i'm an idiot we thought it was a crank sensor or something stupid like intermittently failing or whatever but <clears throat> there's one thing i didn't replace which i'm just not realizing i'm stupid for ordering a new one um the uh heater core control valve so it won't get heat it's trying to bleed the system out it'll get up to operating temp we had the cool boiling boiling bubbling out but it wouldn't get heat so I was thinking about when i was working on a prize car months ago <clears throat> and basically his car overheated and then blew the radiator hose right here off his stock radiator somebody tried to ghetto fix it and then we did a head gasket test because it wouldn't it would get up to temp and it would overheat but it wouldn't cycle fully and something was blocked and it ended up being the heater core control valve because this one i'm stupid i'm stupid for ordering a new one because this one's brand new i remember i replaced this online but i have another one that i'll probably just now i have one so this is the one off the car that got crashed it's still good i'm going to open it up and make sure but basically there's two valves and there's rubber inside them and this car sat for 10 years whatever so 11 years 11 years with a blown head gasket so all that shit just sitting in there i'm sure fucked those seals up and now it won't flow because when we had this hot and the uh, radiator lines were hot i could feel the cool in them put my hand down in here where the stupid valve is feel the two lines that go into the heater core and it's cold it's no heat so i think once i replace this and what else do i have to do I was considering just completely swapping out the doors, but I can't do it on my own. Um, the window switches, I don't know if it's the switch or if it's the motor or if there's a relay. I haven't really looked that far into it, but the windows don't go up if you like, they'll go up, but you gotta like fucking sit there and spam the button. Same thing with going down. I don't know if they're not set. I don't remember how to set them. Not my main concern. It's winter time. The windows are staying up anyways. Pocket. So, do this. Uh, I also got my hood hinges half-assed painted and put on here so not rusty crusty no more. Uh, I think Sean's coming over later. If not, I'll have Draven help me put the hood on because ain't no way I'm doing that shit by myself. But, for right now, I'm going to swap this thing out and uh, throw some more coolant in it. I got more coolant, which I'm just using cheapo concentrate yes i'm mixing it i know what concentrate means um but i also have to fix my wiring for my fan not fix it but like finish it so i bought some wiring stuff because my fan is wired <clears throat> like how i had the other one before on the like little chevy plug or whatever and you plug it in but it's plugged into straight power so if it's plugged in it's on and that's not good I mean, it's fine, it works, because I just did that to get it on the road and I didn't have enough wire to run to a switch. But now I have the wire. I have my little delete panel because I'm not gonna run OBC. And put that in there, put it on the switch. And then once the system's blood out, we'll get the hood situated and put the um, headlights into the right position because I don't know what the fuck they're pointing at, but I know they turn on. Uh, the taillights do work, the turn signals do work, the wiper works, which I went again with just the mono wiper because it's cheaper to buy one wiper and I'm broke. Uh, what else do I gotta do? That's it. Oh, tighten the um, reservoir for the power steering. 
because the, the line's not all the way on it, it's leaking. Whatever, that's easy. So, let's get this stupid thing out. All right, I already did it. It's a fucking pain in the ass. But that's the fresh boy. I put the old one. Here's the old one. It's kind of rusty, but I got my flashlight. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It being bad. Look down in there. Try to get it. See that fucking O-ring? It's right behind that piece of metal. Maybe you see better on this side. Yeah, see a broken O-ring in there. So, valves are useless. And the one that I put in was out of the old car, but it's brand new. I don't know if I explained that. So that's good. Now the line, the first line, that one that comes off this reservoir is uh, not, it's only halfway on. So I'm going to loosen it, shove it on there, tighten it, make sure that's full because it's been leaking. Bring the coolant bucket back over that side. Crack the door, put the battery back on, start this piece up, and then uh, see if we can get the coolant system blood out because of the fucking heat in this thing. And I'll probably throw that piece back in too. Forgot that's not in. Ooh, I also saved my red Johnny shifter, shift boot. So, all right, let's do it. Goddamn, goddamn. This is zip tied in so it can't fall out, but it's not set right. Headlights aren't set right. That one's set better. Obviously zip tie sticking all over the place. These tires are fucked. I couldn't even get out of the fucking road. It took me a mile and a half on the odometer to fucking get out of the road. But look how bad these things are. What the fuck? But she drove. Crooked as all hell, but she drove. Fuck yeah, let's go. Drive the car, first time. Didn't do any skids, because I was kind of scared about these tires and the fact that it really, really, really needs an alignment. But hell yeah, dude, I'm cold, I'm going inside. Thanks for watching this short little video.